and we'll go check out and see if Bosco's made the, uh, if Bosco will let us have the truth. Wait, 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 wait. Is there money in here? No. I hope that, I hope it counts. Alright. Back and forth, driving back and forth. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Back to the office. Shotgun! Little buddy. Shotgun. Okay, so let's hurry up over to Bosco's. Bus was there or changed or anything. Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the chief! I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of flyer. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering <laughs> making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. So, we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. But it works. Trust me, trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so... Now we gotta get... Who are we supposed to make tell the truth? Uh, see, it's not him, not him. It's gotta be the cabinet members, so we gotta go back to the White House once again. Back to the DeSoto! And back to the White House. Where are we going, Sam? This is one of the longest episodes, I think. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Make Wizard go to the bathroom again. We'll get Wizard drunk. There you go, Wizard. Get drunk. Care for a drink? It's soda, right? You brought more soda. Sure, why not? Wow. Wow! That's got more kick than the other ones. Right, Zappa Max. You guys, you guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. Uh-oh. He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the stupidest thing he'd ever heard. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You what the heck are they talking about? You big... Of course you realize this means war! 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 <laughs> Oh, we're going to war. What's this I hear? What wondrous thing is this? The deaf call Galaxians ring. A flashing light above the door. There's just. One thing it could mean. War. Oh, what's it good for? What is it good it's for? good for you. Good for you. It's good for me. Uh. Oh, war. What's it good for? What is it good for? It strengthens the economy. It shows the world that we've got stones. And carriers with fighter drones. Oh, 
What the? God, it's making me dizzy. Okay. Well, let's not do that again. Wow. Secret Service agent. Secretary Ribbon. Let's make the secret agent the secretary. <laughs> Max, I mean His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion <laughs> to being a constant hindrance in oh. our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Super Ball. Secretary of Mysterious Gaseous Emissions. Secretary of Mysterious Gaseous Emissions. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Hmm. What's the calendar do? It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skimpiest, naughtiest swimsuits. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! We can make it Earth Day, Easter Sunday, Secretary's Day. We now declare today April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for Vice President, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary's Day. I'll get him away. He's Stand aside, him. pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Take a vacation. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. Hey, we can go in the war room. Yay! Ooh, cookies. It's a plate of fancy cookies. For the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. Vengeance tastes sweet. Hey, there's gourmet coffee. In case the idea of war makes you insufficiently jittery. I'm plenty juice just being in here. Let's blow stuff up. Blow stuff up. What's the book? What to do in time of war. 
Select target. Press fire. fire. That's all it says. Okay. Targeting computer. Looks like a remote homing beacon in the frigid Antarctic. So peaceful. So serene. Wanna blow it up? You have to ask? Let's blow it up. Dinner special tonight? Penguin flambe! Who would have suspected the Washington Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles? It's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo for once. Oh, we can destroy I wonder if this will have a significant impact on our delicate ecosystem. Absolutely. My ego is bigger already. <laughs> the homing beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. <laughs> it's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! Kill the Kryptonians! This'll teach him to put me in the Phantom Zone. You will bow down before me! Oh, better pull up a chair, little buddy. Well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. Hmm. Well, the only beacon we can mess with is, is his, so... Let's say, do I have to fire? So that means, let's go see if we can steal this beacon camera. Dakota situation. Look, Max, in the White House garden pond. It's Jimmy Tucci. We often allow lobbyists to use the pool, Sam. Jimmy's a lobbyist now? What's he lobbying for? Cheese interests? Affordable health care for the aged and underprivileged, Sam. He's a lot more multifaceted than you give him credit for. Dunce cab. Oh, we're into the Oval Office. So let's go back to Bosco's. Because there's a targeting beacon in Bosco's. We can use the missiles to kill Lincoln by uh, taking that, probably. From what I remember when I played a long time ago. Back to Bosco's. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! I wish there was a way to move fa faster. I'm wondering if I have to just click warp speed on. What will happen? Oh, whoa, he's moving a lot faster. Okay. I think he's moving faster. I can't tell. Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. Sweet. Let's go get leaking. We're going to blow Lincoln up with a missile. Yay. It's going to be great. can't tell if I'm walking faster or not. Where are we going, Sam? Let's chase down After Lincoln. that rampaging Lincoln. Yes! Ah, 
yay! Nice talk, Max. You better act fast before he manages to knock off the beacon. Or choose his own back off to escape! That'd be a neat trick to see him choose his own back off. First real duty, uh, epic duty as President of the United States, we will blow up Abraham Lincoln. Epic wartime duties? What a shame. In we go. We get to press the pretty button again. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, you'll have enslaved all of D.C. and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He gets. You're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. Fire. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. It's gonna be awesome. Oh my pity! I am the most powerful presidential monument ever created! Yeah! Laxatives to pigeons on parade days. We broke two presidents in one afternoon. A personal best. Well, it looks like the country is saved, at least for mass hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down to the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles, report. Query status. Lincoln Gambit. Four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. 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 Uh oh. Error. Well, that's the end of that one. Oh, I just dropped my, my mouse. Darn it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It was episode 104. Next one will be episode 105, Reality 2.0. Uh, we're getting really close. Hmm. Pardon me, we're getting really close to the end of season one. It's only six, six episodes in season one. Sam Max. Some crazy, hilarious stuff. www.maxforpresident.org Really? Huh, I like. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!